Oh, that sucks for the guy. Bakit tayo lalaban? Don't settle. Point one percent of everybody. Alam mo, sobrang sexist nun. Yun muna pansamantala. Uy, Dennis! Dennis, sakit mo magsalita! Oh. Sakit ka magsalita! <laughs> Hello there, viewers. This is Dennis Trillo. And my name is Sid Lucero. Hi, I'm Bea Alonzo. And I'm Andrea Torres. And today, we will play... He, he said, said, She Said. Most men don't marry the woman they love or loved the most. They marry the woman that's in their life when they're ready to marry. Is this statement completely false or does it hold some truth? It's a lot of truth. Editing, editing, editing. Um, ako personally, I always thought that I'll marry someone that I'm gonna be going for. Like, I know that's the one. But I'm getting older and it seems like that's not as important to me anymore. Parang mas importante sa akin yung companionship and everything. So, things are much more simpler for me nowadays. And parang mas malapit sa akin yung nangyayari dyan. And I don't know if it's true or not, and I don't know if it's healthy or whatever, but it seems like doon papunta yung direction ng buhay ko, so bakit tayo lalaban? Aww. Feeling ko for No, but I've heard this. Talaga Sabi ba? Nila, yung women daw, we, um, we get married pag nakita na natin yung the one. Yung mga lalaki daw, they get married. Depende sa timing ng buhay nila. It doesn't matter who they're with as long as ready na sila to get married. I well that's what I heard but I don't know. I I hope it's not true, Dom. <laughs> hindi. <laughs> Feeling ko hindi kasi tipo bakit this <laughs> hindi ko talaga maano. Is it why some men cheat in a marriage? No, I, I don't know if it's true or not, but I've heard the statement before. I hope Refuse it's not to true. believe. <laughs> Pero kasi if it's true, that's so sad. Oo nga eh. So, ibig sabihin, hopeless romantic lang tayo mga babae. Kinecreate lang natin yung idea in our heads. I hope Refuse it's not true. Refuse to believe. <laughs> oh, that sucks for the guys. Kasi ang sarap din maging hopeless romantic. Although it hurts sometimes. Oh. Oh, ang sarap, sarap ma-inlove ng todo to. Oo, oh, oh, ang sarap kiligin. Baka naman ano, nag-meet talaga both. Ready na sila, nag-mature na sila at the same time, yun din talaga yung person na Tama nilove pa. nila enough to make that oh. risk. Siguro, uh, well, mahirap mag-settle sa isang bagay na hindi mo talaga mahal, di ba? Pag magpapakasal ka, parang kailangan mo talagang piliin at kailangan yung pakakasalan mo, mahal mo rin, di ba? Kasi mahirap magsisi sa huli. And, siyempre, napakalaking desisyon yan. Kailangan pag-isipan mo mabuti. Isipin mo kung kaya ka niyang pakisamahan. Although, mahirap talaga yun, maghanap ka ng isang tao na kaya sa akin lahat ng trip mo. Uh, yeah. na. Wait, so, saka in fairness kay Dennis, ha? Ang tagal na nilang um, together and alam mong kaya naman nila to have a family. Pero talagang nag-wait siya ng right moment. Oo nga. Ang tagal na seven mm-hmm. years daw sila in a relationship. Mm-hmm. Pero may napanood akong ano, stand-up na gig ni Amy Schumer. Sabi niya, you should find the guy na who can stand you for the rest of your lives. Kasi sometimes, na pag buried na kayo, parang nawawala na yung romance. And mm-hmm. yung mga unlikable things about you, he should be able to stand it. And I feel like Dom will be able to stand it. <laughs> Hindi pilitan ang pagpapakasal. Yun lang yun. Tama. I agree. I agree 100%. Cool. Okay, so, ako na ba ito? Ako na ba? Okay. For almost 30 years, <laughs> parang minaalala ko. I watched others find love while I stayed single. I never went on dates or had short romances. Which made me wonder if I was being too picky. Should I just settle for something less? Or should I just wait for destiny to work, work its magic? magic. Hmm. <laughs> hirap na mga sagot. Oo, oh, hirap yan. Ha? Pero... Ako, don't look for love. Just... That love find you. Oh. There's someone out there just for you. Niba? Agree. And don't settle. Never settle. Oh. Kasi life mo yun forever. Yun na yung future mo. So exactly. why? Diba? Oo nga. You deserve someone better. Mm-hmm. And if you don't feel like you have found somebody that you truly love and who shakes you to the core, then don't settle. Kasi you deserve to ha- to ano mo yun, to experience that feeling and to um, 
go through a journey of loving somebody and tru- truly be loved by someone. Ano siya nagut ni si that Dennis Lee? Wala ano man. Di ko alam kung kaya ko magantay ng 30 years kung talagang hindi pa ako hindi ko pa rin nakikita yung gusto ko. Siguro bababa ako na ng konti yung standards ko kung wala pa rin talaga in 30 years. Kasi parang hirap tiisin eh na wala kang kasama. Wala, ano, siguro kailangan, wag lang siguro ganun katagal. Kailangan meron kang um, parang alternative na kahit pa paano, yun muna pansamantala. Kasi yeah. kung maantayin mo talaga, And malay mo hindi na talaga dumating. Parang hindi mo rin siya na-experience kung ako kakano. Alam mo, sobrang sexist nun. Kasi yung mga lalaki, kahit 50 years old na, hindi sila naglo-lower ng standards. In fact, pabata na pa nga ng pabata yung ginagawa nila. So, bakit different sa babae? Sexist. Sexist comment, Dennis. Grabe kayo sa amin. May chance pa. Bakit kami magsisettle? Para sa akin kasi, like, we live in a society where importante sa atin ang relationship. Lalo na dito sa Pilipinas. Lahat ng show natin is love-related. Lahat ng pelikula na pumuputok dito is love-related. And naniniwala ko na dito sa Pilipinas, sobrang ang taas ng weight ng romance sa lives natin, di ba? But I also think that kung wala pa, then there must be a reason. And maybe whatever higher power you believe in the universe or God himself is saying to be patient, why not? Diba? And I also think it's also healthy to like focus on yourself before you rush into romances. Sabi nga nila, you have to be a complete person bago mo ibigay yung sarili mo sa ibang tao. Eh. Don't use the other person to complete you. Aww. Parang ganun. But at the same time, I also... Agree with you, so I don't know. Mahirap masyado matagal maghintay. Eh. 30 years nga naman, so... Grabe yan, grabe yan. Medyo... Grabe yan. Hindi ba ako sa patience yan? Kasi nga yan. Yeah. Huwag lang masyadong matagal kasi baka... Uh, baka huli na yung lahat at uh, wala ka pa rin napipili. Baba kami yung standards mo, siguro. Eh, yeah. hey, grabe yun! Oh, oh my gosh! gosh! Uy, Dennis, Dennis, sakit ka magsalita. Oh, sakit ka magsalita. <laughs> Or bago malang iba yung standards, hindi naman babaan. Iba lang yung standards siguro. Baka gusto mo, 0.1% ng world yung gusto mo. Six feet, seven digits a year. Baka no, imposible na talaga yun. <laughs> Uy, hindi naman. Realistic naman. Realistic naman. Oo. And I think yung mga babae naman, hindi naman kami ganun. Like in general, the, my girlfriends, parang kapag nagsiset kami ng standards, it's more really about values. Uh-oh. And, you know, yung parang background, family background. And... Tsaka yun yung mga, wala na negotiables mo kasi talagang kailangan mo talaga yeah. sa relationship yeah. para mag-work. <laughs> kasi di pa lahat ng chicks gusto nila. Six feet, millionaire. Wow. <laughs> 0.1% of everybody. Dennis, akala ako. Iba ka sa pagkataon. <laughs> Thank you guys. This has been Dennis Trillo. And I'm still Sid Lucero. This has been Bea Alonzo. And Andrea Torres. And we just did Sid Lucero. And if you have many kwentos or any other comments, please send them in. It'd be great. Or comment kayo sa page ni Dennis tsaka ni Sid. Violent reactions. Grabe, no, pinagodan pala yung ano ng mga lalaki. Oo. Ibang iba sa mga. Iba talaga yung sakit mag-married man eh, no? Sobrang layo. Diba? Sobr- with conviction pa naman namin sinabi yun. Yeah. Ibang iba pala yung kanila. I wonder kung yung mga na-date natin, gano'n din siya sabihin or yung career. Ah, oh, well, wala. What are the other questions about? Oh, we'll get my mind. I'm trying to mind.